People from all over the region are flocking to downtown Fort Smith for one reason, art. First time in downtown Fort Smith ever. From New York. Now, this is almost like something that you'd see in Brooklyn. I've lived in Fort Smith all my life. I run a design studio in Conway and I brought my creative team to Fort Smith to get inspired. So far, so good. Yeah, we're loving what we're seeing. Up close, it might be hard to tell what you're looking at in some paintings, but step back and it becomes clear. I think that Fort Smith is, is a town that has a lot of potential, and I feel as if art is definitely central to just the bringing community together. This is definitely a way to expand Fort Smith, um, definitely for the younger crowd. I like the difference of how everything's just so different and none of it's the same. You can see art inside the theater on 10th Street and in the main office a few doors down. Everything needs to evolve and art is one of those things that helps people evolve. To beat the heat, most artists are working at night, but not Crystal Wagner. I'm based out of New York. Fort Smith has been really great because it's been open for one and I've felt a lot of love from a lot of volunteers. Her work combines architecture with natural forms. She's making the massive display out of hot air balloon fabric, vinyl netting and about 70,000 zip ties. I haven't come up with the title yet. It usually doesn't happen until the last moment. And tonight at nine, there's a documentary playing here at Garrison Commons. It's about Fort Smith artist Ryan Starkey, who's battling a dyskinetic movement disorder. Tonight's documentary is free and it's open to the public. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.